hate taxes. Taxes freaking suck. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. Welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below and then click that bell notification icon so you will be alerted every time I upload. Whew. This month has been rough. Not not for Christmas. Christmas has been surprisingly simple. The combination of sinking funds and being one month ahead has completely un our Christmas budget last year. And if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it up here in the eye in the sky. But last year we got so screwed up on Christmas. Oh my goodness. It was a disaster. But this year we are actually kind of smooth sailing when it comes to like paying for presents and all of that. We had a major, two major issues in uh, November and December that are really, really, really impacting our budget this month. Before I get into that, I wanted to let you know, normally this is where I would do my mid-month budget update, but I'm not going to do that today simply because there have been a lot of changes and it'll get confusing because things changed at the beginning of the month from the time I filmed to the budget update and then they have changed again since then. So I'm gonna focus today's video on updating you about our tax debacle. Let me backtrack a couple of months and see if I can catch you all up on everything. A couple of months ago, I got a letter from the IRS and it said that they had a crap ton of money sitting in, like for better lack of a better term, an escrow account. Um, from us for 2015 and they didn't know why. And I was like, huh? So I reached out to my current CPA who was FYI, not my CPA at that time. For whatever reason, we had just moved from Mexico to the United States. And I decided I was going to do my own taxes. I'm a smart girl. I can figure it out, right? The answer to that question is no, never, ever, ever do your own taxes. This story is the reason why you should never do your own taxes. So I reached out to my current CPA and said, hey, can you do me a favor and take a look at this letter and tell me what it means? Because I don't understand. And he basically told me that they never received my taxes. And I was like, yeah, I got that because I can read. And he understands my sarcasm. So it was okay. And I'm like, hey, dude, what is going on? And he basically said, it looks like they never got your taxes. And I said, but I have confirmation because I did it with, you know, um, TurboTax. I have confirmation that they received it. And so apparently come to find out there was a glitch that year and they never actually got my returns or whatever. So I said, okay, I'm going to refile. And he said, he said, let me take a look at your taxes since you did your own taxes that year. Just let me peek at them. And I was like, well, okay. So basically he came back to me and said, you got a lot going on in taxes this year. Do you want me to look them over? And I talked to Mauricio about it and we both agreed that that was not the year for me to have been doing my own taxes. We had a lot that went on financially that year. There was a lot of contract work. Um, there was a lot of business expenses that I didn't deduct because I did not itemize. And so I basically told our CPA, I would love to have you look them over, but if it's going to cost me more money or I'm going to owe the government more, then no, I'm just going to go ahead and upload them the way they are. And he said, well, let me just take a quick look and I'll, I'll let you know. So he looked at him and a couple of weeks later, he got back to me and said, okay, here's the situation. You did something you're not allowed to do and you're gonna probably get audited for it. And I was like, what? And so oh, I won't get into all the nitty gritty details, but basically what it came out is I had to fix this situation. And so we said, you know, I'm not gonna break the law. We agreed, both Mauricio and I, that it was the smartest thing for us to let Ryan redo our taxes for 2015. So a couple of days later, Ryan gets back to me and he says, okay, here's the situation you're gonna owe. I'm not sure how much, so you're going to owe me for doing your taxes and then you're going to owe on top of that. And I was like, seriously, because we had already paid, I don't know, it was over $60,000 in taxes. I don't even remember the exact figure. I could look it up. Let me look it up. Okay. So the total taxes I had paid were $59,811 that year. So just under 60. And that didn't include state. 
So I was like, dude, I don't want to pay any more money. This is insane. But I also don't want to violate the law. So clearly I'm going to have the guy do my taxes. So he redid my taxes and he said, he said he wasn't sure how much I was going to owe, but I was definitely going to owe something. So he called me a couple of days later. He said, I, I actually made a couple of phone calls and I talked to a tax attorney. And the good news is that we are going to itemize you and you're going to be getting money back. You're not going to owe. And I was like, what? So for right now, he charged us 450 for doing our taxes, uh, another 70-ish dollars for audit protection, which basically means that if we get audited, he'll cover us um, free of charge. While I'm not afraid of an audit, everything is legit and on the up and up. I don't want to have to pay him by the hour in the case that I do get audited. 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 Now, so we are getting money back, but because it's not tax season, and the we had to mail in our taxes because apparently this time of the year they take the website down. And so you can't upload via computer. So I had to mail them in and they said it could be anywhere from six weeks to two months before I hear back from the IRS. So I am not going to tell you how much we're getting back right now because, you know, I'm not a fan of counting your chickens before they're hatched because something could happen in between here and there or the IRS because they're sitting on my money already. They may decide, no, we're going to audit you right now and we're not going to release your money back to you. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much we're going to get back, but it's it's actually a really decent amount. So I am excited about that. But we are going to have, you know, a little over $500 extra in there in our budget that wasn't planned. And then there's a second thing. So apparently my Virginia taxes also were not filed. Not a big deal. We were going to go ahead and do those. But he, I'm going to have to pay to get the Virginia taxes done also. So I think he was charging me $200 for the Virginia taxes because he can't transfer all the data from one over to the other because for reasons I'm about to explain. <laughs> this is awesome. So we went and looked at my W-2 and apparently my office of um, personnel management, they screwed up my W-2 and they charged me as being a Virginia resident from January to December in 2015. And I was actually only a resident from August to December. So I paid a lot more in Virginia taxes than I should have, but it's what my W-2 says. So what I'm going to have to do is I requested my office fix it and they're going to fix it, but it's going to take a month or so. So I am going to have to, now the W-2 I had was fine for federal taxes because my state residency didn't, doesn't really apply to federal taxes. So he used the one W-2 for the federal taxes and now he's going to have to use the corrected for the state taxes. And so, yeah, it's a whole, 2015 was bad, bad. So it was probably, you know, divine intervention that my taxes didn't get filed that year. Uh, legit. It's going to work out, but this mess is severely impacting our Christmas budget because of November and the tire issue. And then that being what, $1,100. And then this being another potentially $800 in December, I get three paychecks. And normally the way we do our budget, everything we earn in December goes to pay our January bills. So we earn the money, it goes into a savings account. And then at the, on the first of the month, I move everything from the savings account into the checking account. And that's what we use to pay our bills for the month. So this month we are not going to be able to take everything we earned in December and apply it to our January bills. We are taking one of the three paychecks from December and applying it to December bills. So that will cover the tire incidents of November and the tax stuff. And yeah, it's super intense. So I was so excited about having this ginormous payment in January to debt, but it looks like January is just going to be a regular month for me. But truthfully, this is the first time we have had a major financial crisis that hasn't broken us in a, pretty much our entire married life. So I'm kind of good with it. It is so crappy out, y'all. It's gray and disgusting and snowing. And it never snows in Virginia in December. Never, never. So they have been saying on the news that it's going to be like the, the worst winter in decades. And it's snowing in December. That, that's, that's a sign the apocalypse is coming.
So today is step in order at my school. So that's why I got my step in more. And this used to be my daddy's when he was born. Abuelo and abuela gave it to you, right? Yeah, when I was born. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So, I'll see you in the next one. See y'all.